All right, hello everybody. Uh, I just wanted to share a quick photography tip with all of you on this beautiful rainy day and it's about reframing your images in post. You see, back when I switched from 120 medium format, medium format film, I was shooting in 6x6, a square a negative, to digital, one of the biggest changes was that I had to take an extra step with every single one of my images, I had to crop them all because digital sensors are not a square. They are usually they usually come in a three by two aspect ratio, a rectangle. So of course if I want my images to be square, and most of my images are, I have to crop them. So at first I thought that was a huge waste of my time and of space because I'm discarding not discarding, but uh, I mean, I'm hiding a third of the raw file uh, beyond the square, but it's still there. The information is still there on my hard drive. So, for example, if my portfolio took uh, one terabyte on my, uh, of space in, on my uh, hard drive, 333 gigs of that information would be unused. It would be, as I said, hidden because I'm cropping uh, that. Uh, that information out. So that's why I thought uh, uh, of this as a downside first. But over time, I uh, I started to find it uh, very useful because uh, you know many times I don't frame my subjects very well, or um, I see it differently in post. Uh, having that extra information, that extra wiggle room on the sides, to the left and the side to the left and the right of the original image that I saw in the field, the image that I meant to make, uh, well, allowed me to correct those compositions to make them better. It's starting to rain pretty bad right now. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, I started to uh, embrace that uh, extra information. Uh, of course, it's always better if we get it right straight out of camera. But, uh, you know, shooting outdoors, uh, shooting uh, in the outdoors, as you can see, isn't always easy and uh, many times you don't have the time to actually stop and think about your composition or uh, to make uh, your framing perfect uh, in camera. Uh, plenty of situations, there are plenty of situations where you don't have a lot of time. Maybe your subject is moving really quick or maybe the conditions are changing really quick or maybe you are in a sketchy spot like I am right now. So it's not a place where I want to spend a lot of time. So for those cases, it's very useful to have that extra information to do the reframing in post. Uh, I find this so useful and I like it so much that I actually started to uh, make some room on the top and the bottom of the frame now as well. In order to do that, what I have to do is to take a step back when I'm about to take a photo. If I'm using a zoom lens, I can also zoom out just a little bit. Just be aware that that might change the relationship between the elements uh, uh, in the foreground and the elements in the, in the background, but it shouldn't be a big deal for most of the situations. Anyway, I have to go now, but I hope this, this tip was useful and maybe something that you can try next time you are out shooting. Just remember to bring an umbrella. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.